After five months of training, the young Malays had shown an excellent achievement with a high standard of discipline in the military. The Malay Regiment was then expanded by recruiting another 30 recruits on October 1st, 1933, followed by another 30 recruits on December 1st the same year, and the last 35 young Malays in January 1934. Thus the formation was upgraded to company level with a strength of 150 men. The training programs were intensified and adopted the company structure with each functional task. Monitored by an office led by Major M.C. Bruce of the Lincolnshire Regiment as the first commanding officer. On February 1st, 1935, the Malay Regiment, with a strength of 382 men, began to adopt battalion organization. The battalion comprised two rifles, Company A and B, with base camp, which included the Vickers machine gun platoon, a signaling section and a corps of drummers. Five men were recruited as transport staff, while two more were in armory. Four regular officers were commissioned as Lance Corporal by the High Commissioner of Malaya on November 4, 1936. The Malay Regiment's strength extended in line with the strength of a battalion. The depot platoon in Port Dixon was then expanded and established as the Malay Regiment Depot in February 1941. By then, many of them were promoted to different ranks and posts. These remarkable achievements had encouraged more recruits among the Malays. On March 30, 1941, the British High Commissioner, Sir Shenton Thomas, announced the Malay Regiment's expansion to two complete battalions. The second battalion of the Malay Regiment was officially formed on December 1, 1941, a week before the Japanese landed in Malaya. On January 10, 1942, with a total strength of 1,857 men, the Malay Regiment had shown their defense skills against the Japanese army. Even though they were new, their fighting spirit enabled them to fight to the end.